Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x squared plus x plus 1 whole squared divided by x to the power 4 plus x squared plus 1 is equal to 7 over 3. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. This numerator remains same x squared plus x plus 1 whole squared divided by in the denominator we add and subtract x squared like this x to the power 4 plus x squared we add x squared plus this 1 and we subtract x squared is equal to 7 over 3 next x squared plus uh, x plus uh, 1 whole squared divided by this x to the power 4 can be written as uh, x squared whole squared this uh, x squared plus x squared will become plus uh, 2x squared plus 1 minus x squared is equal to 7 over 3 Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. This expression in the denominator x squared whole squared plus 2x squared plus 1 will become first we write this numerator x squared plus x plus 1 divided by this x squared whole squared plus 2x squared plus 1 will become x squared plus 1 whole squared minus this x squared is equal to 7 over 3. Now in the denominator we have difference of two squares. So, we use this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This expression at the left hand side will become x squared plus x plus 1 whole squared divided by by using this algebraic identity this expression in the denominator will become x squared plus 1 plus x times x squared plus 1 minus x is equal to 7 over 3. Now we use cross multiplication we multiply this 7 by this expression and we multiply this 3 by this expression. So this will become 7 times we rearrange these terms uh, x squared plus uh, x plus uh, 1 times uh, rearrange these terms uh, x squared minus x plus uh, 1 is equal to 3 times uh, this expression 3 times uh, x squared plus uh, x plus uh, 1 whole squared move this expression to the left hand side then this will become 7 times x squared plus x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 1 this positive expression will become negative 3 times x squared plus x plus 1 whole squared is equal to 0 now you can see that this uh, x squared plus x plus 1 this x squared plus x plus 1 is a common factor so we factor out this uh, x squared plus uh, x plus uh, 1 and uh, in bracket left uh, in bracket left uh, 7 times uh, x squared minus x plus 1 and uh, negative 3 times uh, this expression x squared plus x plus uh, 1 in bracket left uh, 7 times x squared minus x plus 1 
minus 3 times x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Next, x squared plus x plus 1 times distribute this 7. This will become 7x squared minus 7 times x plus 7. Distribute this negative 3. This will become negative 3x squared minus 3 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. Further simplify this will become x squared plus x plus 1 times 7x squared minus 3x squared will become 4x squared. Negative 7x minus 3x will become negative 10x and 7 minus 3 will become plus 4 is equal to 0. From here either this expression x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression 4x squared minus 10 times x plus 4 is equal to 0. So now we have two quadratic equations. To find the values of x, first we solve this quadratic equation. This is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b is 1 plus or minus square root of. In place of b squared, we write 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus. This will become root 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times 1 negative 4 divided by 2 times 1 2 and uh, x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus this will become root negative 3 divided by 2 next x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus this root negative 3 is same as root negative 1 times root 3 divided by 2 and uh, x will be equal to negative 1 plus or minus root negative 1 will become i times root 3 divided by 2. So from here we get uh, two values of x. x1 is equal to negative 1 plus uh, i times uh, root 3 divided by 2 and second value of x will be equal to negative 1 minus i times uh, root 3 divided by 2. Now we solve the second case. In the second case we have this quadratic equation. If we, if we divide the whole equation by 2 then this will become 2x squared minus 5 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this 2x squared, 2x squared and we break this negative 5x into negative 4 times x minus 1 times x plus uh, this uh, 2 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out uh, 2 times x. In bracket left uh, x minus 2. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 1. In bracket left, uh, x minus 2 is equal to 0. And this uh, x minus 2 is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, x minus 2. And uh, in bracket left, uh, 2 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. 
Now from here in this expression x minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression 2 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation if we move this negative 2 to the right hand side then third value of x will be equal to 2. From this equation we move this negative 1 to the right hand side this will become 2 times x is equal to 1 and if we divide both sides by 2 we get the fourth value of x is equal to 1 over 2. So we have four solutions for this equation. First one is negative 1 plus i times root 3 over 2 and the second is negative 1 minus i times root 3 over 2 the third is 2 and the fourth is 1 over 2.